what's going on? This is Mr. McMillan right here for your art lesson of the day. Today we will be making monsters using organic freeform shapes. Your monster might look something like this guy by the time you're finished. I hope you enjoy the video and have fun. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is draw a organic freeform shape, which can look like all kinds of different things. It just doesn't look like a geometric shape. I'm going to draw the shape and then I'm going to give my monster some eyes. Now you could have one eye, you could have two eyes, three, or however many you want. I chose three and I'm going to draw a little pupil in there and now I think I will give my monster a mouth. I'm going to give it a great big mouth. Oh yeah. I'm going to go ahead and add another line for a lip as well and then I need some teeth. Now I could make the teeth sharp or blunt I'm going to kind of make mine just flat and almost like he's kind of silly looking monster. Not really all that scary. Okay. Well, next I think I will add some arms. Now you could have one arm, two arms, or more. Remember these are totally make-believe monsters so they can look like anything you want. I gave mine a thumb and two fingers so he's always making a peace sign. I'm also gonna add some legs and make some big funny looking feet. Oh yeah, I think I'll give my monster some eyebrows now. And then I want to do some kind of pattern. So I'm going to add polka dots to my monster. You could add lines for fur. You could add other kind of patterns such as triangles or squares or diamonds or hearts. I'm now giving my monster some tentacles, kind of like ears sticking up off of his head. I don't have much room on this side, so I'm just going to lay it over flat. And I think the last thing that I'll do is I'm going to add some what looks like hair onto the top and then I will add a landscape line I'm gonna make my monster look like he's on a planet in outer space so I'm gonna make a curved line and then make some moon type craters and then a little Saturn planet with rings in the background and a few other things. You could have your monster in any number of environments. It's all up to you. After you're finished with your drawing, you could outline with a Sharpie if you would like, or you can use something to color them in. 
you could just use a pencil and make some areas lighter and some areas darker. I'm using crayons and I'm going to take my time even though it looks like I'm going really fast. I sped up the film so you didn't have to watch me do the whole thing. I'm taking my time trying to stay in the lines and I'm choosing colors that will stand out next to each other. So I have a red monster with blue eyes and then purple spots. And I'm making orange lips. So you guys take your time and have fun coloring this in. I can't wait to see your examples. Thank you.